Hello and welcome back to Focus Atlanta. Again, I'm your host, Keisha Lancelin. In this segment, we're going to talk, you, talk to you a little bit about real estate investment. I know. It sounds a little scary, right? It sounds a little daunting. You watch all those HGTV shows or whatever, but you think, I can never do that. Well, if you have a little knowledge, you can. I'm here with Whitney Nicely. Thank you so much for coming on the show. Thanks for having me. Well, first of all, tell us a little bit about yourself. How long have you been doing this? I flipped my first house in 2009 with my parents, and then we flipped about one a year until 2014, and I decided I wanted to do it faster. So I bought a house in 2014 and flipped it in about two weeks, which would have taken us six months in parent time. Right, so, right. Um, and then last year in 2015, I flipped six houses and got married. So I was pretty busy <laughs> last year. <laughs> Just planning the wedding alone. Yeah. Yes. It takes the full year. And flipping six houses. Wow. Okay, so what you're telling me, though, is that it's not as difficult as it seems. Like, we could do this if we had the knowledge, It's right? really, yeah. Like, I do a lot of what I call lipstick on a pig kind of flips. Okay. So we go in and make the kitchen pretty. We clean up the shrubbery. And it's not always gut in the kitchen. And I'll tell you, you mentioned the shows. It's way more fun in real life than it is on the shows. Because it looks very hectic, right? And very stressful. And Yeah, you have to be fully committed to it. You okay. have to know a plan going into it. Or whenever things come up, then you get bogged down in what that is instead of what your ultimate goal is. Okay. So you have to get a plan, stick to it, and just keep going through those problems. Now, what about our budget? Like, is it, you know, can we do our first one on a budget? Can we, you know... What are we talking about in terms of finances? Well, I do owner financing and lease options, so I don't go to the bank and get a mortgage or anything like that. I really focus on putting my money into the flip instead of into the purchase. Okay. So, you know, for $1,500, maybe $5,000, you can do those, you know, pretty touch-ups, okay, okay. flips. You can't do that if you're getting the whole kitchen or bathroom. Of course. But you can totally flip a house in a weekend for less than $100. I wrote a book on that. Wow. Yeah. And so... Give us, give us like the rundown. So if you're really kind of serious about this and you're thinking about it, what's our first step? What is, our, what is the first thing we want to research? What is the first thing we want to do? Well, I tell everybody when you're flipping a, a house, it doesn't matter if it's your first one or your tenth one, you're still really excited about it, especially on that first one. So you want to buy a house in your neighborhood, somewhere that you're going to drive by just on your natural day. Because if you buy something 30 minutes away, it's forceful and you have to drive over there and it's just not as easy to drive your mom by or drive your fella by or, you know, whoever you want to show, if it's right there, it's a lot more fun to play with. Okay, that's a good tip. I think, you know, a lot of times we don't even think like that. We, you know, we think about our, our little safe space, but we think about purchasing outside of it or purchasing here. The other thing is you already like your neighborhood. So you're improving your property value and your neighbors. Very nice. If you're flipping in your neighborhood. Okay. And I understand that you also buy land. Like, how does that work? I love land. A couple summers ago, I bought a half acre piece of industrial land okay. for $1,500. Tax, tag, and title, in yeah. and out and done, 1500 bucks. And most people can come up with $1,500, or you can save $100 a month. Mm -hmm. After 15 months, you've got it. Mm -hmm. Well, I rent the driveway to this piece, just the driveway, not even the land, for $250 a month. What? So I've got my money back plus some in less than a year. That's so then amazing. you can take that 250, buy another piece, rent it, buy another piece, rent it, until you get into houses. Because okay. the last thing I want to tell you is to save $100,000, sink your whole <laughs> life savings into real estate, especially if you're new. You know, you need to start yeah. small. Yeah. Start with those little chunks of land because the process is the same. It just adds zeros towards I the end. I love that. <laughs> like, see, nobody ever tells you that. Nobody land. Ever gives you land. Uh -huh. You can now, flip land. Are and those then, the little types of tips that we can find on your website? Absolutely. Your website? Absolutely. And I, I periscope. I put stuff on Instagram. I'm very social online. All right. So you're not hoarding all of your secrets to yourself. No. You're I, sharing them with the rest of us. I do. And I've got a program that if you want to know all of my systems and what I actually say, you can go for that too. But I put tons of tips online. Now, what is your book? What, tell me about the book. I've written a couple different books, oh. but the one that I mentioned earlier is how to flip a house for less than 100 bucks on the weekend. And it's stuff like changing out the kitchen knobs, changing out the doorknobs, those little mm -hmm. things that when you walk into a house, especially if you have it listed with a regular agent, you want the buyers to come in and say, ooh, I love it, when can we close? Instead of going, ooh, they still got brass doorknobs, why didn't they change that? Okay, all right. Just change it. So change those little things, yes. make the cosmetic changes, yes. and you could, you know, really, really up your value. Yes, and oh, sell it a lot faster. Oh, and you know, that's the important thing. That's the important thing. We want to get that thing. thing off of our hands. Yes. Thank you so much for coming on. Thank you for having me. Well, now you got to give all that information again. So you said you're on IG, you're on Twitter. How do we find you? I am on Instagram. I'm Whitney Buys Houses. 
on Periscope, I'm with Buys Houses because they wouldn't let me get that N-E-Y <laughs> in my character slot. Okay. So, and then Facebook, Whitney Buys Houses. My website is WhitneyNicely.com or WhitneyBuysHouses.com. Just about anywhere I'm Whitney Buys Houses. All right. Well, we appreciate you for sharing the knowledge. Thank you. And Thank letting you. us know that we can do this too. Yes. All right. Yes. Your first tip, folks, is start small. Don't yes. go for the big, you know, the big overhaul. Try the little things. Try, you know, try your hand at it. You know, put your foot in the water first. Um, and then go to Whitney's website and learn the rest. <laughs> Thanks so much for tuning into this segment of Focus Atlanta. Please stay tuned for more here on Atlanta.